There we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, my new my YouTube channel, and this is uh, how to start up and home out a Mazak lathe with live tooling. All right, let's get it. Get it going. Okay, here we have a uh, Maze Troll Matrix Nexus 2 control. We have a hybrid control of a mill and a lathe together. Kind of lathe with live tooling, you know? So uh, this is a 200, uh, quick turn 200. I believe 20 horsepower. Uh, it's an MY, so it's a Y axis. So it's a 200 Y. Um, so first thing you do when you turn the machine on is you want to do a little walk around dance. You go around, you want to look for oil on the floor, look for anything that doesn't look safe. Um, around here you want to turn the breaker on. Right now it's in the on position, horizontal like this is in the on position. If it was up and down like this, it would be off. Okay, so it's in the horizontal position, we're good to go. Okay, you wanna check your coolant levels back here. There's your kind of dark, but there's your coolant levels. Check your truck pressure. That comes on after the hydraulics come on. Now you wanna make sure your air is on. If this is in line with the hose, it's on. It's like this it's off okay so on you want to check your way lube right here we're getting a little low but there's the fill line right there the when it's empty and then there's how full you want to fill it when it's full okay come back here and hit the green button to turn the control on all right so let's talk a little bit about homing out a machine uh, hopefully by this time uh, you know that X is going to be near and far like this. You know that Z is going to be left and right. And you know that Y is going to be up and down. Uh, the whole turret comes up and down off center. Um, homing out a machine is very important. Um, the machine initializes when it's homed out. In a lot of the older machines, if you hit start without homing them out, they won't know where they're at and they'll crash. So, how do you home out a machine? Well, if the machine is at home, hear me out now. If the machine, if this Z axis right here is at home in the upper right hand corner, you wanna go into the homing mode and then you press jog away from home and you hold the button down there's your jog buttons okay so if z is at home which it looks like it's at home you want to hold away and it's what it'll do is it'll come away quarter inch or three eighths of an inch real you know pretty slow and then it'll go back in and home itself out all the time while pushing away from home Same thing with X. If X is all the way at home, which is in the upper part of the machine back there, if X is at home, then to home it out, you're gonna press away from home and you're gonna hold that button down and the turret's gonna come off home a little bit, quarter inch, three eighths of an inch, and then it's gonna go back into home and initialize. Now, if it's not at home, if the turret's way up here, then you wanna be careful. You don't wanna hit away from home because it could keep going away from home. If the turret is away from home, then you press towards home, okay? So a good rule of thumb is if it's at home, then jog away from home. If it's away from home, then jog to home. All right, so we started up here. We got a maintenance check warning. That's just our way lube and our air pressure. We'll hit reset. Okay, now <clears throat> we're gonna go in and it looks like Z's homed out. So when you turn it on, it automatically goes to the home, to the home key. The home key lights up. So I'm gonna go to my jog axis and I'm gonna hold away from home. All right, so what that did is it came away from home and then went back to home. Now it's really important to do the Y axis if you're, if you're home like this, 
you can do Z or Y first, but it's more it's important to make sure Y is home before X. You have to home out the Y axis before X. So I'm gonna come to the Y axis here. Look inside the machine. Come away from home, comes away, goes up to it. Okay, now if you look at the position page right here, X or no, Y and Z are red. That means they've been homed out. So, we go to X right here. Here's your axis selector switch. Z, X, Y is all the way at the end. So we're gonna do, if you wanted to, when you go into hand jog, you can move it away from home. And this is, uh, so this is to select your axis um, for if you wanna do any hand jog. That's very important to know what your axis select is. Your jog for X, Z, and Y are over here. So we're gonna jog away from home because it looks like it's at home. And we're home. Z, at home. Now we're gonna do X, okay? See how it homed out right there? So we did Z, Y, and X. Now you can do Y first if you want. The reason that I did Z first is because I wanted it to get away from the chuck and then a safe position back there. So you can do uh, Z or Y first, but it's just important that you do Y before you do X. Okay, so we have X, Y, and Z lit up. Now W, that's the tail stock. You can see we're one millionth away. So we're just gonna come down here to the tail stock button here. We're gonna look inside the machine. We're gonna bring the tail stock away Make sure it's all safe. And then we're gonna go towards home and just ride right into home. And then you can see, bam, now the accesses are homed out. So now let's do it when it's away from home. So here's the jog selector that I showed you before. So now we're gonna go, we're not gonna go from home. We're gonna go down here to jog. We're going to Z. We're gonna jog away from home in Z. We're gonna jog away from home in X. Then we're gonna jog away from home and Y. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to home. And now instead of jogging away from home, I'm gonna jog towards home. So if you look in there, okay, I'm pressing down because it's away from home, it's way, it's way above home, or it's way high right now, see how it's really high? So I'm gonna press down, and it's gonna go towards home. Now you see when it does that, it homes out. Okay, now we're gonna do X. We're gonna go towards home. And now we're gonna go Z. towards home and now Z is homed out all right so there is our video on homing you want to double check make sure that the red buttons are lit up and you want to check your, your load meters to make sure your load meters aren't pegged a lot of times you get chips in the ways or something like that and when you home a machine out it uh it can, uh, your load meters will go crazy. So just make sure that your load meters look good. Make sure that your home is, uh, machine is homed out. And that uh, ends the video. Thank you very much. See you later, dudes.